world <laughs> and welcome to the mecca of mastery tv and i am your host mecca and if it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life then you're in the right place and as I say in all videos, every video I do, I'm so excited about this video. Guys, this video is about personal development. And the title of this video is, So What Makes a Good Life a Good Life? Now, I've done a lot of research on this, guys, for the past three years in general. Because I myself wanted to know what makes a good life a good life. What makes somebody really happy, somebody really fulfilled. I wanted to know what was true happiness, you know. I'm going to give you a, a little story first. Um, in my days, if you have been following me for, let's see how long I've been doing this. However long I've been doing it, I can't even say. But if you've been following me, then you know my past of me being an exotic dancer. I used to have tons of money. I used to take a lot of trips, I still do. Um, but I, so many material things of that nature. And I always thought that becoming famous or becoming extremely rich, taking trips, having all the most expensive things was a good life. If, if I had the best car, the biggest house on the block, you know, the best, everything a material thing the most amount of money not worried about money being able to buy, go into the club or the bar buy the biggest booth get the most expensive wine i was living the good life but i've done research and i noticed that i was wrong and so many other people are wrong about this as well and studies have been shown that most people who have acquired those things, and you and I both know people like this, whether we know them personally or we see them on TV or in life, they're millionaires, they're billionaires, and they seem so successful but not successful. They're so unhappy. They're not fulfilled. So they have all these, all these things, all this money, all these resources and it's some things that you probably wish you had and you think it's going to make your life better but they're not happy but here you are with not that much and you're happier than these people who seems to have so much so I found myself asking the question what is the good life and how do you live it and I came to this conclusion that most people don't live a good life because they don't have good relationships most people that are really happy the true, true formula for happiness is in good relationships. Now, I understand some people don't have good relationships with their family. I was like this, and I still have some of my family members in which we don't have good relationships. But some people don't even build relationships along the way in their life, the time that they spend here on earth. So if you look at people who have good relationships with people in their family or good relationships with people um, in their relationships like if they're in a relationship or anything or with their children or something versus people who don't have those good relationships who have conflict in their marriage conflict in their family conflict with their children you see that these people who have good relationships are better off happier it eases your pain it uh, st stops you from worrying because sometimes not sometimes, most of the time, we have so much happening to us in life and things happening all around us which we can't control. But it's that one thing that we hold on to that keeps us going. That thing that we know that somebody there cares for us. That somebody has our best interests at heart. You, I remember listening to a TED talk and it was showing a study of a guy and this was a man that was in his 80, um, he was in his 80s and it was showing that because he was unsure about his partner, he basically shows signs of aging faster. It's crazy what it does to your brain when you don't build relationships, or if you don't have like a social life, or if you don't have, um, what the word I'm looking for, guys, jump into my head, because I know you like to jump into my head. The word that I'm searching for, hmm, when you don't have, a community somebody to share your thoughts with someone to vent with we all need that that's crucial you know when the creator created he had created or she created two of everything on this planet that we're on so you're not the only person here so don't isolate yourself from people or your family we need to connect we need to be with people we need to 
like share our human connection and our thoughts and our feelings and things like that so the real science of real happiness and lasting happiness is relationships and connections to things and not things but people around you so make sure that you are connecting with somebody with some people and I myself I really have to you know say I wasn't the, the best at this you know I had a lot of falling out with friends and people in my life because people grow apart we really do but just because you go a different route than somebody else that don't make them less important in your life you get what I'm saying there's something that you have in common with this person maybe you used to have ten things in common and you only have two but just focus on the two things that you do have in common nobody is perfect you're not perfect but we all need each other we're here to build each other up to love each other increase the vibration here on this planet positive vibration and love so go out in the world today and love somebody connect with somebody you know pick up the phone check on someone write a letter even if you volunteer just do something outside of yourself and connect with everybody around you that's a true happy life it don't matter how much money you got the best body you got the where you can go in life how much knowledge you got it that don't matter but if you don't have nobody around you to care for you or you genuinely care for or a community of people or a, a group or something you don't that's not life you're not living life you know I hope you like this video you share this with somebody you love because sharing is caring and remember that here at MeccaFreeman.com, we always encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself so you go out into the world and you kick a whole lot of action and go and reach out to somebody because we all need that tender loving care. And until next time, I see you all in the next episode. Bye. Love you. Peace.